Therefore he slew him, and turned the kingdom unto David the son of Jesse. 1 Chronicles 11 Then all Israel gathered themselves to David unto Hebron, saying, Behold, we are thy bone and thy flesh. And moreover in time past, even when Saul was king, thou wast he that leddest out and roofed us in Israel. And the Lord thy God said unto thee, Thou shalt feed my people Israel, and thou shalt be ruler over my people Israel. Therefore came all the elders of Israel to the king to Hebron. And David made a covenant with them in Hebron before the Lord. And they anointed David king over Israel, according to the word of the Lord by Samuel. And David and all Israel went to Jerusalem, which is Jebus, where the Jebusites were, the inhabitants of the land. And the inhabitants of Jebus said to David, Thou shalt not come hither. Nevertheless David took the castle of Zion, which is the city of David. And David said, Whosoever smitteth the Jebusites first shall be chief and captain. So Job the son of Zeruiah went first up, and was chief. And David dwelt in the castle. Therefore they called it the city of David, and he built the city round about, even from Milo round about, and Job repaired the rest of the city. So David waxed greater and greater, for the Lord of hosts was with him. These also are the chief of the mighty men whom David had, who strengthened themselves with him in his kingdom, and with all Israel, to make him king, according to the word of the Lord concerning Israel. And this is the number of the mighty men whom David had. Jashabim, and Hakmonite, the chief of the captains, he lifted up his spear against three hundred slain by him at one time, and after him was Eliezer the son of Dodo, the Ahite, who was one of the three mighties. He was with David at Pastamim, and there the Philistines were gathered together to battle, where was a parcel of ground full of barley. And the people fled from before the Philistines, and they set themselves in the midst of that parcel, and delivered it, and slew the Philistines. And the Lord saved them by a great deliverance. Now three of the thirty captains went down to the rock to David, into the cave of Adullam. And the host of the Philistines encamped in the valley of Raphaim, and David was then in the hold, and the Philistines' garrison was then at Bethlehem. And David longed, and said, O oh, that one would give me drink of the water of the well of Bethlehem, that is at the gate. And the three break through the host of the Philistines, and drew water out of the well of Bethlehem, that was by the gate, and took it, and brought it to David. But David would not drink of it, but poured it out to the Lord, and said, My God forbid it me, that I should do this thing, shall I drink the blood of these men that have put their lives in jeopardy? For with the jeopardy of their lives they brought it, therefore he would not drink it. These things did these three mightiest. And Abishai the brother of Job, he was chief of the three, for lifting up his spear against three hundred, he slew them, and had a name among the three. Of the three, he was more honorable than the two. For he was their captain, howbeit he attained not to the first three. Benah the son of Jehada, the son of a valiant man of Kabzal, who had done many acts. He slew two lion like men of Moab, also he went down and slew a lion in a pit in a snowy day, and he slew an Egyptian, a man of great stature, five cubits high. And in the Egyptian's hand was a spear like a weaver's beam. And he went down to him with a staff, and plucked the spear out of the Egyptian's hand, and slew him with his own spear. These things did Benah the son of Jehada, and had the name among the three mighties. Behold, he was honorable among the thirty, but attained not to the first three. And David set him over his guard. Also the valiant men of the armies were, Asahel the brother of Job, Elhanan the son of Dodo of Bethlehem, Shamath the Hararite, Elath the Pelonite, Ira the son of Akesh the Tekwit, Abes are the Antidite, Sibikai the Hushadite, Eli the Ahite, Maharai the Natophadite, Hel the son of Bana the Natophadite, Ephi the son of Rabbi of Jibea, that pertained to the children of Benjamin, Benab the Pyrethonite, Harai of the Brooks of Gosh, Abiel the Arbabite, Asmoveth the Beharamite, Eliab the Shalbanite, the sons of Hashem the Gizanite, Jonathan the son of Shage the Hararite, Aim the son of Sekar the Hararite, Eliphal the son of Ur, Hefer the Mekardite, Ahijah the Pelonite, Hazro the Carmelite, Nerai the son of Ezbi, Joel the brother of Nathan, Mibar the son of Hagari, Zelik the Ammonite, Naharai the Baradite, the armor bearer of Job the son of Zeruiah, Ira the Ithrite, Gareb the Ithrite, Uriah the Hittite, Zabit the son of Eli, Adina the son of Sheza the Roydenite, a captain of the Roydenites, and thirty with him, Hanan the son of Masha, and Joshaphat the Mithnite, Uzziah the Ashturnite, Shama and Jahil the sons of Hotham the Ararite, Jael the son of Shimri, and Joah his brother, the Tizite, Eliel the Mahabite, and Jerubai, and Joshaphiah, the the sons of Elnam, and Ithma the Malbite, Eliel, and Obed, and Jaziel the Mesabate. 1 Chronicles 12. Now these are they that came to David to Ziklag, while he yet kept himself close because of Saul the son of Kish, and they were among the mighty men, helpers of the war. They were armed with bows, and could use both the right hand and the left in hurling stones and shooting arrows out of a bow, even as Saul's brethren of Benjamin. The chief was Ahazer, then Josh, the sons of Shema the Jibeite, and Jaziel, and Pelet, the sons of Asmoveth and Barakah, and Jehu the Antidite, and Ismaiah the Gibeonite, a mighty man among the thirty, and over the thirty. And Jeremiah, and Jahaziel, and Johanan, and Josabad the Gedronite, Eluzai, and Jeremoth, and Bealiah, and Shemariah, and Shephatai the Harufite, Ilkanah, and Josiah, and Azrael, and Jozer, and Jashabim, the Kerhites, and Jela, and Zebediah, the sons of Jerubim of Jeter, and of the Gudites there separated themselves unto David into the hole to the wilderness men of might, and men of war fit for the battle, that could handle shield and buckler, whose faces were like the faces of lions, and were as swift as the rose upon the mountains. Ezra the first, Obadiah the second, Eli the third, Mishmana the fourth, Jeremiah the fifth, Atai the sixth, Eliel the seventh, Johanan the eighth, Elzabeth the ninth, Jeremiah the tenth, Mashpani the eleventh. These were of the sons of Gad, captains of the host, one of the least was over an hundred, and the greatest over a thousand. These are they that went over Jordan in the first month, when it had overflown all his banks.
And they put to flight all them of the valleys, both toward the east, and toward the west. And there came of the children of Benjamin and Judah to the hold unto David. And David went out to meet them, and answered and said unto them, If ye be come peaceably unto me to help me, mine heart shall be yet unto you. But if ye be come to betray me to mine enemies, seeing there is no wrong in mine hands, the God of our fathers look thereon, and rebuke it. Then the Spirit came upon Amasai, who was chief of the captains, and he said, Thine are we, David, and on thy side, thou son of Jesse, peace, peace be unto thee, and peace be to thine helpers. For thy God helpeth thee. Then David received them, and made them captains of the band. And there fell some of Manasseh to David, when he came with the Philistines against Saul to battle. But they helped them not, for the lords of the Philistines upon advisement sent him away, saying, He will fall to his master as Saul to the jeopardy of our heads. As he went to Ziklag, there fell to him of Manasseh, Adna, and Jezabed, and Jediel, and Michael, and Jezabed, and Elihu, and Zilphi, captains of the thousands that were of Manasseh. And they helped David against the band of the rovers, for they were all mighty men of Valur, and were captains in the host. For at that time day by day there came to David to help him, until it was a great host, like the host of God. And these are the numbers of the bands that were ready armed to the war, and came to David to Hebron, to turn the kingdom of Saul to him, according to the word of the Lord. The children of Judah that bear shield and spear were six thousand and eight hundred, ready armed to the war. Of the children of Simeon, mighty men of valor for the war, seven thousand and one hundred. Of the children of Levi, four thousand and six hundred. And Jehoiada was the leader of the Aronites, and with him were three thousand and seven hundred. And Zadok, a young man mighty of valor, and of his father's house twenty and two captains. And of the children of Benjamin, the kindred of Saul, three thousand, for hitherto the greatest part of them had kept the ward of the house of Saul. And of the children of Ephraim, twenty thousand and eight hundred, mighty men of Valur, famous throughout the house of their fathers. And of the half-tribe of Manasseh, eighteen thousand, which were expressed by name, to come and make David king. And of the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times, to know what Israel ought to do. The heads of them were two hundred. And all their brethren were at their commandment, of Zebulun, such as went forth to battle, expert in war, with all instruments of war, fifty thousand, which could keep rank, they were not of double heart, and of Naphtali a thousand captains, and with them with shield and spear thirty and seven thousand, and of the Danites expert in war twenty and eight thousand and six hundred, and of Asher, such as went forth to battle, expert in war, forty thousand, and on the other side of Jordan, of the Rhodonites, and the Gudites, and of the half-tribe of Manasseh, with all manner of instruments of war for the battle, and hundred and twenty thousand, all these men of war, that could keep rank, came with a perfect heart to Hebron, to make David king over all Israel, and all the rest also of Israel were of one heart to make David king, and there they were with David three days, eating and drinking, for their brethren had prepared for them. Moreover they that were nigh them, even unto Issachar and Zebulun and Naphtali, brought bread on asses, and on camels, and on mules, and on oxen, and meat, meal, cakes of figs, and bunches of raisins, and wine, and oil, and oxen, and sheep abundantly. For there was joy in Israel. 1 Chronicles 13 And David consulted with the captains of thousands and hundreds, and with every leader. And David said unto all the congregation of Israel, If it seem good unto you, and that it be of the Lord our God, let us send abroad unto our brethren everywhere, that are left in all the land of Israel, and with them also to the priests and Levites which are in their cities and suburbs, that they may gather themselves unto us. And let us bring again the ark of our God to us, for we inquired not at it in the days of Saul. And all the congregation said that they would do so, for the thing was right in the eyes of all the people. So David gathered all Israel together, from Shur of Egypt even unto the entering of the mouth, to bring the ark of God from Kirjath Jerim. And David went up, and all Israel, to Bala, that is, to Kirjath Jerim, which belonged to Judah, to bring up thence the ark of God the Lord, that dwelleth between the Kerubims, whose name is called on it. And they carried the ark of God in a new cart out of their house of Abinadab, and Uzzah and Ao drave the cart. And David and all Israel played before God with all their might, and with singing, and with harps, and with psalteries, and with timbrels, and with cymbals, and with trumpets. And when they came unto the threshing floor of Chidon, Uzzah put forth his hand to hold the ark. For the oxen stumbled, and the anger of the Lord was kindled against Uzzah, and he smote him, because he put his hand to the ark, and there he died before God, and David was displeased, because the Lord had made a breach upon Uzzah, wherefore that place is called Perz Uzzah to this day, and David was afraid of God that day, saying, How shall I bring the ark of God home to me? So David brought not the ark home to himself to the city of David, but carried it aside into the house of Abedim and the Gittite, and the ark of God remained with the family of Abedim in his house three months. And the Lord blessed the house of Abedim, and all that he had. 1 Chronicles 14 Now Hiram king of Tyre sent messengers to David, and timber of cedars, with masons and carpenters, to build him a house. And David perceived that the Lord had confirmed him king over Israel, for his kingdom was lifted up on high, because of his people Israel. And David took more wives at Jerusalem, and David begat more sons and daughters. Now these are the names of his children which he had in Jerusalem. Shabuah, and Shobab, Nathan, and Solomon, and Ibar, and Elishua, and Elpalit, and Noga, and Nephig, and Japhia, and Elishma, and Beliada, and Elphalit. And when the Philistines heard that David was anointed king over all Israel, all the Philistines went up to seek David, and David heard of it, and went out against them. And the Philistines came and spread themselves in the valley of Raphim. And David inquired of God, saying, Shall I go up against the Philistines? And wilt thou deliver them into my hand? And the Lord said unto him, Go up, for I will deliver them into thine hand. So they came up to Belperzim. 
And David smote them there. Then David said, God hath broken in upon mine enemies by mine hand like the breaking forths of waters. Therefore they called the name of that place El Perzim. And when they had left their gods there, David gave a commandment, and they were burned with fire. And the Philistines yet again spread themselves abroad in the valley. Therefore David inquired again of God. And God said unto him, Go not up after them. Turn away from them, and come upon them over against the mulberry trees. And it shall be, when thou shalt hear a sound of going in the tops of the mulberry trees, that then thou shalt go out to battle, for God is gone forth before thee to smite the host of the Philistines. David therefore did as God commanded him, and they smote the host of the Philistines from Gibeon even to Gazer, and the fame of David went out into all lands. And the Lord brought the fear of him upon all nations. 1 Chronicles 15 And David made him houses in the city of David, and prepared a place for the ark of God, and pitched for it a tent. Then David said, None ought to carry the ark of God but the Levites, for them hath the Lord chosen to carry the ark of God, and to minister unto him forever. And David gathered all Israel together to Jerusalem, to bring up the ark of the Lord unto his place, which he had prepared for it. And David assembled the children of Aaron, and the Levites, of the sons of Kohath, Uriel the chief, and his brethren and hundred and twenty, of the sons of Merari. Isaiah the chief, and his brethren two hundred and twenty, of the sons of Gershom. Joel the chief, and his brethren an hundred and thirty, of the sons of Elizabethan. Shemiah the chief, and his brethren two hundred, of the sons of Hebron. Eliel the chief, and his brethren four scory, of the sons of Uzziel. Ammonita the chief, and his brethren an hundred and twelve. And David called for Zadok and Abiathar the priests, and for the Levites, for Uriel, Isaiah, and Joel, Shemiah, and Eliel, and Ammonadab, and said unto them, Ye are the chief of the fathers of the Levites, sanctify yourselves, both ye and your brethren, that ye may bring up the ark of the Lord God of Israel unto the place that I have prepared for it. For because ye did it not at the first, the Lord our God made a breach upon us, for that we sought him not after the due order. So the priests and the Levites sanctified themselves to bring up the ark of the Lord God of Israel. And the children of the Levites bear the ark of God upon their shoulders with the staves thereon, as Moses commanded according to the word of the Lord. And David spake to the chief of the Levites to appoint their brethren to be the singers with instruments of music, psalteries and harps and cymbals, sounding, by lifting up the voice with joy. So the Levites appointed Heman the son of Joel, and of his brethren, Asaph the son of Berechiah, and of the sons of Merari their brethren, Ethan the son of Kashiah, and with them their brethren of the second degree, Zechariah, Ben, and Jaziel, and Shemiramoth, and Jehiel, and Ani, Eliab, and Bina, and Masa, and Matithia, and Eliphal, and Mithnia, and Abedidim, and Jael, the porters. So the singers, Heman, Asaph, and Ethan, were appointed to sound with cymbals of brass, and Zechariah, and Aziel, and Shemiramoth, and Jehiel, and Ani, and Eliab, and Masa, and Bina, with psalteries on Alamoth, and Matithia, and Elphil, and Mithnia, and Abedidim, and Jael, and Azaziah, with harps on the Shemnath to excel, and Shenaniah, chief of the Levites, was for song. He instructed about the song, because he was skillful, and Berechiah and Elkanah were doorkeepers for the ark and Shebaniah, and Jehoshaphat, and Nathaniel, and Amasai, and Zechariah, and Binah, and Eleazar, the priests, did blow with the trumpets before the ark of God, and Abedidim and Jehiah were doorkeepers for the ark. So David, and the elders of Israel, and the captains over thousands, went to bring up the ark of the covenant of the Lord out of the house of Abedidim with joy. And it came to pass, when God helped the Levites that bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord, that they offered seven bullocks and seven rams. And David was clothed with a robe of fine linen, and all the Levites that bear the ark, and the singers, and Shenaniah the master of the song with the singers. David also had upon him an ephod of linen. Thus all Israel brought up the ark of the covenant of the Lord with shouting, and with sound of the cornet, and with trumpets, and with cymbals, making a noise with psalteries and harps. And it came to pass, as the ark of the covenant of the Lord came to the city of David, that Mitchell the daughter of Saul looking out a window saw King David dancing and playing, and she despised him in her heart. 1 Chronicles 16. So they brought the ark of God, and set it in the midst of the tent that David had pitched for it, and they offered burnt sacrifices and peace offerings before God. And when David had made an end of offering the burnt offerings and the peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord. And he dealt to every one of Israel both man and woman, to every one a loaf of bread, and a good piece of flesh, and a flagon of wine. And he appointed certain of the Levites to minister before the ark of the Lord, and to record, and to thank and praise the Lord God of Israel. Asaph the chief, and next to him Zechariah, Jael, and Shemiramoth, and Jehiel, and Matithia, and Eliab, and Bina, and Abedidim, and Jael with psalteries and with harps. But Asaph made a sound with cymbals, Bina also and Jahaziel the priests with trumpets continually before the ark of the covenant of God. Then on that day David delivered first this sound to thank the Lord into the hand of Asaph and his brethren, give thanks unto the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people. Sing unto him, sing sons unto him, talk ye of all his wondrous works, glory ye in his holy name, let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord, seek the Lord and his strength, seek his face continually, remember his marvelous works that he hath done, his wonders, and the judgments of his mouth, O ye seed of Israel his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen ones, he is the Lord our God, his judgments are in all the earth, be ye mindful always of his covenant, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations, even of the covenant which he made with Abraham, and of his oath unto Isaac, and hath confirmed the same to Jacob for a law, and to Israel for an everlasting covenant, saying, Unto thee will I give the land of Canaan, the lot of your inheritance. 
when you were but few, even a few, and strangers in it, and when they went from nation to nation, and from one kingdom to another people, he suffered no man to do them wrong, yea, he reproved kings for their sakes, saying, Touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm, sing unto the Lord, all the earth. Show forth from day to day his salvation, declare his glory among the heathen. His marvelous works among all nations, for great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, he also is to be feared above all gods, for all the gods of the people are idols, but the Lord made the heavens, glory and honor are in his presence. Strength and gladness are in his place. Give unto the Lord, ye kindreds of the people. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering, and come before him. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him, all the earth. The world also shall be stable, that it be not moved. Let the heavens be glad, and let the earth rejoice. And let men say among the nations, The Lord reigneth. Let the sea roar, and the fullness thereof. Let the fields rejoice, and all that is therein. Then shall the trees of the woods sing out at the presence of the Lord, because he cometh to judge the earth. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good for his mercy and joy forever, and say ye, Save us, O God of our salvation, and gather us together, and deliver us from the heathen, that we may give thanks to thy holy name, and glory in thy praise. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel for ever and ever. And all the people said, Amen, and praised the Lord. So he left there before the ark of the covenant of the Lord Asaph and his brethren, to minister before the ark continually, as every day's work required, and Abedin with their brethren, three score and eight. Abedinam also the son of Jedavan and Hosea to be porters, and Zadok the priest, and his brethren the priests, before the tabernacle of the Lord in the high place that was at Gibeon, to offer burnt offerings unto the Lord upon the altar of the burnt offering continually morning and evening, and to do according to all that is written in the law of the Lord, which he commanded Israel, and with them Heman and Jedavan, and the rest that were chosen, who were expressed by name, to give thanks to the Lord, because his mercy endureth forever, and with them Heman and Jedavan with trumpets and cymbals for those that should make a sound, and with musical instruments of God, and the sons of Jedavan were porters. And all the people departed every man to his house, and David returned to bless his house. 1 Chronicle 17 Now it came to pass, as David sat in his house, that David said to Nathan the prophet, Lo, I dwell in an house of cedars, but the ark of the covenant of the Lord remaineth under curtains. Then Nathan said unto David, Do all that is in thine heart. For God is with thee. And it came to pass the same night, that the word of God came to Nathan, saying, Go and tell David my servant, Thus saith the Lord, Thou shalt not build me an house to dwell in. For I have not dwelt in an house since the day that I brought up Israel unto this day but have gone from tent to tent, and from one tabernacle to another, wheresoever I have walked with all Israel, spake I a word to any of the judges of Israel, whom I commanded to feed my people, saying, Why have ye not built me in house of cedars? Now therefore thus shalt thou say unto my servant David, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, I took thee from the sheepcoat, even from following the sheep, that thou shouldest be ruler over my people Israel. And I have been with thee whithersoever thou hast walked, and have cut off all thine enemies from before thee, and have made thee a name like the name of the great men that are in the earth. Also I will ordain a place for my people Israel, and will plant them, and they shall dwell in their place, and shall be moved no more. Neither shall the children of wickedness waste them any more, as at the beginning, and since the time that I commanded judges to be over my people Israel, moreover I will subdue all thine enemies. Furthermore I tell thee that the Lord will build thee an house, and it shall come to pass, when thy days be expired that thou must go to thee with thy fathers, that I will raise up thy seed after thee, which shall be of thy sons. And I will establish his kingdom, he shall build me an house, and I will establish his throne forever, I will be his father, and he shall be my son, and I will not take my mercy away from him, as I took it from him that was before thee, but I will settle him in mine house and in my kingdom forever, and his throne shall be established forevermore, according to all these words, and according to all this vision, so did Nathan speak unto David, and David the king came and sat before the Lord, and said, Who am I, O Lord God, and what is mine house, that thou hast brought me hitherto, and yet this was a small thing in thine eyes, O God. For thou hast also spoken of thy servant's house for a great while to come, and hast regarded me according to the estate of a man of high degree. O Lord God, what can David speak more to thee for the honor of thy servant? For thou knowest thy servant, O Lord, for thy servant's sake, and according to thine own heart, hast thou done all this greatness, in making known all these great things. O Lord, there is none like thee, neither is there any God beside thee, according to all that we have heard with our ears. And what one nation in the earth is like thy people Israel, whom God went to redeem to be his own people, to make thee a name of greatness and terribleness, by driving out nations from before thy people, whom thou hast redeemed out of Egypt. For thy people Israel didst thou make thine own people forever. And thou, Lord, beckonest their God. Therefore now, Lord, let the thing that thou hast spoken concerning thy servant and concerning his house be established forever, and do as thou hast said. Let it even be established, that thy name may be magnified forever, saying, The Lord of hosts is the God of Israel, even a God to Israel. And let the house of David thy servant be established before thee. For thou, O my God, hast told thy servant that thou wilt build him in house. Therefore thy servant hath found in his heart to pray before thee. And now, Lord, thou art God, and hast promised this goodness unto thy servant. Now therefore let it please thee to bless the house of thy servant, that it may be before thee forever, for thou blessest, O Lord, and it shall be blessed forever. 1 Chronicles 18 Now after this it came to pass, that David smote the Philistines, and subdued them, and took Gath and her towns out of the hand of the Philistines, and he smote Moab.
And the Moabites became David's servants, and brought gifts. And David smote Adarazer king of Zoba unto Hamath, as he went to establish his dominion by the river Euphrates. And David took from him a thousand chariots, and seven thousand horsemen, and twenty thousand footmen. David also had all the chariot horses, but reserved of them an hundred chariots. And when the Syrians of Damascus came to help Adarazer king of Zoba, David slew of the Syrians two and twenty thousand men. Then David put garrisons in Syria and Damascus. And the Syrians became David's servants, and brought gifts. Thus the Lord preserved David whithersoever he went. And David took the shields of gold that were on the servants of Adarzer, and brought them to Jerusalem. Likewise from Tidath, and from Shun, cities of Adarzer, brought David very much brass, wherewith Solomon made the brazen sea, and the pillars, and the vessels of brass. Now when two king of Hamath heard how David had smitten all the host of Adarzer king of Zaba, he sent Hadaram his son to king David, to inquire of his welfare, and to congratulate him, because he had fought against Adarzer, and smitten him. For Adarzer had war with two. And with him all manner of vessels of gold and silver and brass. Then also King David dedicated unto the Lord, with the silver and the gold that he brought from all these nations. From Edom, and from Moab, and from the children of Ammon, and from the Philistines, and from Amalek. Moreover Abishai the son of Zerimia slew of the Edomites in the valley of Saul 18,000, and he put garrisons in Edom. And all the Edomites became David's servants. Thus the Lord preserved David whithersoever he went. So David reigned over all Israel, and executed judgment and justice among all his people. And Job the son of Zerimia was over the host. And Jehoshaphat the son of Ahilad, recorder, and Zadok the son of Ahilab, and Abimelech the son of Abiathar, were the priests. And Shafsha was scribe, and Binah the son of Jehoiada was over the Cherethites and the Pelethites. And the sons of David were chief about the king. 1 Chronicles 19 Now it came to pass after this, that Nahash the king of the children of Ammon died, and his son reigned in his stead. And David said, I will show kindness unto Hanan the son of Nahash, because his father shewed kindness to me. And David sent messengers to comfort him concerning his father. So the servants of David came into the land of the children of Ammon to Hanan, to comfort him. But the princes of the children of Ammon said to Hanan, Thinkest thou that David doth honor thy father, that he hath sent comforters unto thee? Are not his servants come unto thee for to search, and to overthrow, and to spy out the land? Wherefore Hanan took David's servants, and shaved them, and cut off their garments in the midst hard by their buttocks, and sent them away. Then there went certain, and told David how the men were served, and he sent to meet them, for the men were greatly ashamed. And the king said, Tarry at Jericho until your beards be grown, and then return. And when the children of Ammon saw that they had made themselves odious to David, Hanan and the children of Ammon sent a thousand talents of silver to hire them chariots and horsemen out of Mesopotamia, and out of Syria Macha, and out of Zaba. So they hired thirty and two thousand chariots, and the king of Macha and his people, who came and pitched before Medeba. And the children of Ammon gathered themselves together from their cities, and came to battle. And when David heard of it, he sent Job, and all the hosts of the mighty men. And the children of Ammon came out, and put the battle in array before the gate of the city, and the kings that were come were by themselves in the field. Now when Job saw that the battle was set against him before and behind, he chose out of all the choice of Israel, and put them in array against the Syrians. And the rest of the people he delivered unto the hand of Abishai his brother, and they set themselves in array against the children of Ammon. And he said, If the Syrians be too strong for me, then thou shalt help me, but if the children of Ammon be too strong for thee, then I will help thee. Be of good courage, and let us behave ourselves valiantly for our people, and for the cities of our God, and let the Lord do that which is good in his sight. So Job and the people that were with him drew nigh before the Syrians unto the battle. And they fled before him. And when the children of Ammon saw that the Syrians were fled, they likewise fled before Abishai his brother, and entered into the city. Then Job came to Jerusalem. And when the Syrians saw that they were put to the worst before Israel, they sent messengers, and drove forth the Syrians that were beyond the river. And Shaphesh the captain of the host of Adarazer went before them, and it was told David. And he gathered all Israel, and passed over Jordan, and came upon them, and set the battle in array against them. So when David had put the battle in array against the Syrians, they fought with him, but the Syrians fled before Israel. And David slew of the Syrians seven thousand men which fought in chariots, and forty thousand footmen, and killed Shaphish the captain of the host. And when the servants of Adarazer saw that they were put to the worst before Israel, they made peace with David, and became his servants. Neither would the Syrians help the children of Ammon any more. 1 Chronicles 20 And it came to pass, that after the year was expired, at the time that kings go out to battle, Job led forth the power of the army, and wasted the country of the children of Ammon, and came and besieged Rabbah. But David tarried at Jerusalem, and Job smote Rabbah, and destroyed it. And David took the crown of their king from off his head, and found it to weigh a talent of gold, and there were precious stones in it. And it was set upon David's head, and he brought also exceeding much spoil out of the city, and he brought out the people that were in it, and cut them with saws, and with harrows of iron, and with axes. Even so dealt David with all the cities of the children of Ammon, and David and all the people returned to Jerusalem. And it came to pass after this, that there arose war at Gezer with the Philistines. At which time Sibachai the Hushabite slew Sippai, that was of the children of the giant, and they were subdued. And there was war again with the Philistines. And Elhanan the son of Jer slew Lami the brother of Goliath the Gittite, whose spear staff was like a weaver's beam. And yet again there was war at Gath, where was a man of great stature, whose fingers and toes were four and twenty, six on each hand, and six on each foot, and he also was the son of the giant. But when he defied Israel, Jonathan the son of Shimea David's brother slew him. These were born unto the giant in Gath. And they fell by the hand of David, and by the hand of his servants. 1 Chronicles 21 And Satan stood up against Israel, and provoked David.